amazing. You look at a country like East Germany with only 17 million people in that country, and they do so well in every aspect of international athletics, and gymnastics is no exception. She had a fall there on, on her mount. That's really going to cost them. There's no way they can win the title now unless the other gymnasts really make big mistakes, and we just don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. In the balance beam, we may see more falls. That's true. I think this shot probably personifies the narrowness of that beam better than you and I could ever describe That's it. Amazing. Every time, every time we see a routine, we always have to reiterate that that beam is only four inches wide. And some of those skills that they do, I don't even want to do on the ground. That's the width of the palm of your hand. It, it is, it is. And it's, it's just incredible that they can do some of these skills or that they can even try them. You can imagine going for it the first time, wondering if you can make it. Boy. And they're four feet off the ground. That's right. And that beam is very hard. It is not padded, although it is covered with a leather material to aid in sticking. It's not at all padded. When you hit the beam on the way down, you know it. <laughs> it's hard. Now, Simona's having a few little bobbles here. And I think that uh, that mistake really kind of threw her off. She knows that it's going to be very difficult uh, to win this competition now. But she does want to finish strong. Just two leaps in a row. Three leaps. And these are required elements. They're not leaping just to take a break. They must show leaps with amplitude. And they're not that easy to do either. Some of them are very, very difficult. I think everybody looks for the flips, thinking they're the most difficult skills, but not necessarily. She just wants with a double back flip. Very good landing.